In this video today, I'm going to be speaking to you about chaos theory in business and how you can use it to your advantage. So what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video today on the channel. As mentioned in this video, I'm going to be speaking to you about chaos theory in business and how you can use that to really scale your business to that next level. And to be honest, what I'm going to be speaking to you about today, it definitely helps with business, but it will also help you in other areas of your life. Now, just before we do jump into the rest of this video, if you are new around here, I'd love to just invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another free upload. And because I love giving back in this video, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway of $50 worth of e-guides and books. All you have to do to the end of this giveaway is very, very simple. Watch this video to the end, drop a like and leave a comment down below of your biggest takeaway and the biggest lesson you learned. And after about a week or so of this video being up, I'm going to reach out to a winner and send you those $50 worth of giveaway bonuses. Okay, so now let's jump into chaos theory in business and exactly how you can use it. Now, for those of you guys that do not know what chaos theory is, um, it's basically the same as the butterfly effect. And I'm, I'm sure most of you have probably heard of the butterfly effect or know what the butterfly effect is. And chaos theory is something that's used a lot in mathematics. And basically what it states is, is that one small action, and when I say small, I mean something as little as, you know, picking up this right now and having a sip of it, okay? That is a very, very small action. Well, chaos theory essentially states that that one small action that I took has huge consequences later on in life or huge consequences further down the line because this is basically the first action in a set of other actions throughout my day. So I'm going to give you a really extreme example here, but hopefully by making this example extreme, it will really make you understand what chaos theory is. And then when we understand it a bit more, that's when I can tell you how to really utilize this in life and business. So let's say today, for example, I'm about to head out and I'm planning to head out in the next five minutes or so. If you're about to head out, I'm going to go out for the day, go and have some fun, chill, whatever it may be, right? But just before I go to head out the door, I think in a split second, oh, actually, let me go and get myself a drink of water. So I walk back into my kitchen, I fill up my protein shaker and I have a sip and then I leave the house. If I just left the house before doing that, before filling up my water, I may have left the house 20 or 30 seconds prior to that. Now, if I go outside and scenario one, where I didn't fill up, I might get hit by a car, okay? And I could get hit by a car, I could break my legs, and I may never walk again, okay? Again, I know this is extreme, but hopefully I'm just using this to drive the point home. And I'll never be able to walk again. Now, by me actually walking back into the kitchen and filling up that water, 20 seconds later, I leave, I'm 20 seconds behind where I were, was in scenario one, I never get hit by that car, and my life continues. Now, that one small decision to fill up water, that one small action, has completely changed the outcome for the rest of my day, and even the rest of my life. And that's essentially what chaos theory is. So now that we know what chaos theory is, and obviously, albeit an extreme example of that, how can you use that in business? Well, I've got two tips for you here. The first tip is very, very simple. As you know, that was uh, an action, okay? That was an action, a very, very small action that changed the outcome. Now, in life, obviously, you never know what's around the corner, but in my opinion, if you want to, to be luckier, you need to fill up your day with really small, positive actions, okay? Everything you do, every single thing that you do is either an action that is positive or an action that is negative. There's no in between, okay? It's either a positive action or a negative action. So you need to fill up your day with as many positive actions as possible because the more positive actions that you take, the more positive outcomes that you're gonna get in six months, 12 months, 24 months down the line. It kind of all compounds. And obviously there are anomalies, things that happen, like I mentioned, you know, you don't know when you're going to go outside and something like that will happen. But in terms of business, the more positive small actions that you can take will lead to longer positive 
outcomes in terms of success. Now the second tip for you here is more of a mindset thing and I know there's some people that disagree with me for, on this but again this is purely my opinion it's something that I do that works and it has worked massively in my favor. favor. Now a lot of people kind of think business is just black and white for example you take this action and this is the outcome you do this that happens. Now, to some degree, that is right because, you know, when you're setting goals, you know, you always want to reverse engineer that into kind of daily, hourly tasks that you can go and do. So to some degree, that is correct. Yes, it's black and white. You, you want to make it as black and white as possible. But sometimes in business, life happens from small actions that on the surface, there may not be init any initial reward. So, for example, I do a lot of things in business that there is no direct reward for me. To give you an example, I've re recorded a lot of videos for people free of charge, um, maybe to put in their training programs and things like that, okay? And I'm getting no money at all from it. I'm not, a, not an affiliate, I was not getting paid, I'm not getting a huge amount of exposure from it, but the amount of times I've actually had somebody who, from that, like maybe one video I filmed and put in like a, a course for someone, Somebody's come to me and then ended up becoming a mentorship student or they've purchased my products. Now on the surface, that's free, okay? I'm, what I'm doing for that person is a favor. It's free of charge for them. It's to help them out with their training program, okay? And I'm in, I'm in a several different training programs. Um, so this isn't specific to one person, but, um, you know, I get people come to me and then they will end up becoming a, a mentor student of mine or they'll purchase my products, okay? Or, you know, they end up getting great results of what I'm doing. Now, on the surface, most people just look at that as, okay, you did an action for free. Like, why did you do that? You're not getting anything in return. But that one action that I've took to make a video for a training program has led to not only benefits for me in terms of financial gain, okay, but lots of those people that have come to me have landed clients. So they've actually gone on and transformed their life. So that one action that I took has transformed their life, allowed them to quit their job. That's fascinating to me. That absolutely blows my mind. That is a split second decision, a yes or no decision. Yes, I can do it for you. No, I can't do it for you. But that split second decision to do that has not only led to financial gain, but it's led to other people quitting their job and then they're happier with their friends and their family. Okay, it's a crazy circle. So my advice to you is this, sometimes when, and you can't say yes to everything, okay? you need to be a no man a lot of the time. But sometimes just say yes to things that don't always make sense. Do things that, yes, in the short term, there's no real gain for you, but in the long term, there might be. And I can't tell you what this is. I don't know what this is for you. But sometimes, you know, things happen and kind of like luck comes to those who are prepared for it. If you're prepared and you, you've done all of these positive actions, then you might find yourself a bit more lucky, you know, which I find absolutely crazy. And where I see this most is when people are always on the edge of investing in themselves, especially in terms of like training programs. And for most people, it's like this one thing that's holding them back, right? It's like, if you're going to invest into a training program, for example, let's take my social media marketing course, it's a split second decision, okay? You make a decision to, to do it, or you make a decision to don't. It is as simple as that, okay? The difference between taking action and not is simply a yes or no answer. Yes, I'm gonna do it, no I'm not, all right? And people tend to overcomplicate it. But sometimes the smallest decisions can absolutely transform everything in your life. The amount of times I've seen people who are literally on their edge and they're like just on the edge about to invest in it and then they don't and then you know what they make the decision boom they jump in and a week later they've got themselves five clients their whole life is transformed from that one decision now i'm not saying you have to obviously go and invest in a, in a ton of courses but if you haven't invested into any kind of mentorship yet you haven't invested into a training program that could be that next kind of butterfly effect for you that could be that next step in your chaos theory you know you know that one split second decision to invest in a training program going through that could absolutely transform your life so to kind of wrap up this video here today the biggest takeaway is this number one you want to fill your day with as many positive actions as possible because yes you can't always guarantee the end result but as mentioned luck comes to those 
where you know who are prepared so if you're prepared and you've been doing those positive actions over time it will compound and you will find success and number two sometimes you don't always want to look as the outcome is something you want right now it doesn't always have to be black and white it doesn't always have to be a straight trade I do this you do that you know for example you may hop on a phone call with somebody just to kind of connect that person then may become a really good friend of yours and before you know it you're starting a business with them a few months down the line that literally happened to me you know there's one person that I connected with online dropped them a DM one day it was a split-second decision and I just saw him you know uh, around the community a bit so I just dropped him a DM that was that was a split-second decision okay that's and that, that person is now my business partner at my agency we run a multiple six-figure business together that was a split-second deci decision so you know sometimes all you have to do is just kind of put yourself out there try and make as many positive actions as possible sometimes get on a call and build relationships with people when there is no financial gain in the short term for you but just build relationships because you never know what comes from relationships you may become friends with somebody who six months down the line becomes a multi 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 millionaire all of a sudden he needs your help with something and he brings you a new client every week on autopilot just because you built that connection can you ever guarantee that happening no, of course you can't. But if you don't put yourself out there, if you don't start making more positive actions, if you don't start doing, building relationships, putting your, putting your name out there, making YouTube content. I mean, that's another one. Um, personal branding content. Put yourself out there. So much opportunity comes from making videos. You know, I can make a video. It could be this one. It could be another one. I can make a video that absolutely explodes, gets 10 million views, transforms my career. That happens time and time and time again. The cash me outside girl, she literally said the words, cash me outside, how about that? And now she's a millionaire. If she never said those words, she'd probably still be doing what she was doing before, okay? Whereas now she's a multi, multi-millionaire, millions of followers on all across social media platforms, crazy. Can you guarantee that happened? Is that black and white? No, okay? Sometimes things happen in life that you don't understand why, how, or what, but it can lead to further success. And all I'll say is that the only way that you can kind of have that luck happen to you is by putting yourself out there. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully this video kind of uh, helped you think a bit more of what goes in, into my mindset. Um, yes, I have to say no to a lot of things, but I'm finding myself more and more when I've got a bit of a gut feeling about it, you know, saying yes to more things here and there. And I kind of plead you to do the same thing. So hopefully that helped you guys. Again, if you do want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is drop a like down below, drop a comment of your biggest takeaway. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you in the next video.